I'm not with this dude, but I like them. You know, I like them. So in that very moment, I'm like, oh, he talking to somebody else. y'all welcome back to my channel it's nicole here if you are new smash that subscribe button don't forget and if you are returning hey girl i met this guy i'm gonna call him locks i met locks at petco he worked in petco and he was helping me out with my turtle like i decided to take on the responsibility of our family's turtle okay his name is bob so uh, bob needed a heat lamp he needed some food so i went in there and i needed help because this is my first time dealing with a turtle so i'm just like what good what is good food for him you know um should i get him some fish should i da 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 so lox was helping me out okay he was real nice real sweet just like explaining like how to set up the tank and all this stuff right i noticed he's tall he was he's a looker okay he's fine locks dreadlocks you know um but i wasn't on that type of time in that very moment i just wasn't but i noticed okay i noticed he was fine so he explained all the stuff to me what i need to get how to set it up blah 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 i'm done now i'm ready to go to the register he walks me to the register he's like i'll ring you up because he didn't want nobody else to ring me up i'll ring you up okay cool he rung me up he like you want to sign up for a membership you know, to get a membership card, a club card or whatever. And I was just like, sure. He got my name, my first name, last name, <laughs> my email address and my phone number. So he get the phone number. I mean, he put everything in or whatever. Boom. I get some discounts on my items. Boom. I paid for my stuff. He like, before I'm about to, before I left out, he like, um, could I save your number? Could I, you know, take your number down? And I said, sure. And I was like, you got it. Like, you got it. That's all I say. He know what I'm talking about. Like, he got it in the system. You got my number. So, so boom. Later on that day, he calls. Or whatever. He calls. For, like I said, real nice, real sweet. You know, just fine. Like, real genuine. He came at me, you know what I'm saying, proper. The conversation was good. I feel like we had a lot in common. Um, we were just, you know, talking. So, he decided finally, like, can I take you out on a date? I'm like, cool, okay. He know what he doing. He gave my number, we talk, he set up a date. Boom. We the first day we went out, we went out to eat or whatever. Cool chemistry was there, like it was good vibes or whatever. I went home. Second date, same thing. I forgot where we went. I think we went to the movies. But we went out again. Boom. Cool. Chemistry was there. That time we kinda like when we departed, we kind of gave each other a kiss, okay, the second time. So, I mean, chemistry was there. It was cool. I went home. He set up for a third date. Now, in between these dates, time went by. Like, after after the first date, maybe like two weeks went by, three weeks, two weeks, three weeks, something like that went by. Then we went out again. But we was, like, texting and calling each other in the middle of this. So, we were getting to know each other. He was cool, you know. So... The third date, the third day, he like, because something I said to him on the phone, I was talking about, like, I love outside stuff, parks, you know, walking on trails and watching, you know, the sunset, shit like that or whatever. So he listened to that and he was like, so he called me. He was like, you want to go on, you want to go to the park? He was like, I know this big park, really nice park. And he was like, we can like get food and all that. Like he was setting this shit up, right? So I said, yeah, hell yeah. In my head, I was geeked. <laughs> I was geeked because I'm like, damn, he listened to me like, okay, good. Like, I'm glad. You know what I'm saying? Okay, maybe, maybe I found the one, bitch. So I was geeked. The day come, it was like 6 p.m. I'm riding to the location. He was like, meet me here. Basically, it was the park because I looked at it. I wanted to make sure that's where the hell where we was going you feel me but um it was the part so we drive to the park um not together but i was going he was on his way as well we was like on the phone the whole time like so i'm heading up there it started pouring down raining it's raining so hard but then it slows down and it's raining hard so i'm like damn we can't even we both like damn we can't even you know what i'm saying do this or whatever but it is what it is so he came up with something real quick he like look He's like, you know, I got a, I got a um, TV. He got a screen, a monitor in his car. He was like, we can like park somewhere. 
he's like, we could still be outside. We can park somewhere, chill in my car, put on a movie, and just... Because he was like, I got wine. Like, he had the whole the whole picnic set up in his car. He had the wine. He had snacks. Because you know what? <laughs> Bitches love snacks. It was cute. It was real cute. He had it all for the park. He had all this stuff already together for the park. So he telling me all this on the phone. I'm like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, just keeping it G, keeping it cute. But what's <laughs> I'm geek for real. So... I said, okay, cool. I'll do that. That sound that sounded like a plan to me. So I'm following him. And where we went was probably like 10 minutes from the park. So we get there. It's a neighborhood though. It's an apartment complex neighborhood. So I'm just still following him because I can't. We was off the phone with each other at this point. I'm just following him. I'm listening to music or whatever. So we get there. I park. I get out. I go to his car. And I'm like, you live right here? Like you live? Because it was like a nice little spot. A parking lot. It was a nice little parking lot. It wasn't it was probably like one other car back there. And but it was like behind the buildings. And then it's like over there with some houses. So it wasn't like in a secluded spot. But it was like, you know what I'm saying? It, it was nice. Like the trees. Cause at this point it was still raining, but it was drizzling. But like the trees is giving off rain. So like we in the rain in the car watching a movie or whatever. So I thought, okay, whatever. But I get in, I ask him, I said, you live here? Like, you live in these apartments or these houses over here? He like, yeah, I live in these apartments. He's like, this is my building right here. So, I'm like, I'm like, I know he ain't trying to get laid. I know he ain't trying to get laid. But I got in. He was like, choose a movie. Again, he had like all the setup, like the wine and stuff. He's pouring me wine or whatever. We get to smoking. We watching a movie. We watched um, Barbershop with um, Nicki Minaj in there or whatever, right? And so we just watched a movie, like the chemistry is there. Like the chemistry is there. It was always there every time we saw each other. But like, we ain't never act on it. It was just like, we was just getting to know each other. Like he was respectful and I was respectful to him. Like that's just what it was. My pissy ass, because now I'm drinking and shit. My pissy ass, I gotta pee. So I'm like, I gotta pee. I was holding it. I was holding it for a while, but I couldn't hold it no more. So I'm like, I gotta pee. And in my head, I was like, I could pee outside. No problem. I'll just pee outside. Like, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want to do that. But if I have to, I'll pee outside. Even though he told me that he lived right there. In my head, I kind of didn't want to. I didn't want to go in his house. I was just like, in my head, like, either I'm going to be met by somebody I don't want to see. Not like it's somebody that I know, but just like he got roommates and shit. Either it's that or... We gonna end up being in there. And I wasn't trying to like have sex with him or nothing, y'all. Like I I wasn't on that. So to avoid all of that, like I ain't wanna be in his house and by his room, you feel me? By his bed be tempted, bitch. He was like, You can come use the bathroom in my place. I say, All right. So we get up there, right? We get up there. He all the way on the third floor. We get up to the third floor. He opened the door. I go in. It's dark as fuck in there, right? No lights. Obviously, he not home. But whole time it was motherfuckers in there. So it was this guy, he cut the light on, like the the foyer light. He cut the foyer light on, and it's a nigga in there on a the couch. Yo scared the fuck out of me. Like, he wasn't even asleep. He just on his phone. But I ain't see him when I first came in until yo turned the light on. So, Locks turned the light on. I go to the bed. He showed me where the bathroom at. But I felt like he was rushing me. Like, I, I couldn't see for one to even walk through because he didn't cut the light on until, like, I guess he felt like... I couldn't see. Boom, he cut the light on. I met with this nigga on the couch, right? And this this nigga is gonna be just this nigga in the in this video. He don't need a name. I he's like down there. He pointed down the hall. He's like down there to the right. I go down there. I heard noises in the room. You can see a light under the door, like it's somebody in a room. But whatever. I'm like, oh, he got probably got. I go in the bathroom and now I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, it's a dude on the couch. Maybe you know what I'm saying? Maybe that's. Maybe it's a woman in there or whatever. I'm just thinking about all kinds of shit, right? Don't even know. Just putting assumptions on nothing. For real, for real, right? So I use the bathroom, wash my hands. I come on out. He's standing right there. Like, Locks is standing right there. Like, not by the bathroom, y'all, but like down the hall. Like, he facing towards the bathroom. Like, he's just waiting for me to come out. I come out. I walk. I walk kind of fast because in my head, I just want to get out of there or whatever, right? Um... So we get out, we go back downstairs, we in the car now, we just, we just like, basically just getting past the fact that I had to, had to use the bathroom. So we chilling or whatever. I think we end up, we end up smoking something. And then I noticed, this was red flag number one. 
Because I can't say red flag number one was when I was in the house. Because, like, he got roommates probably. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even I didn't even ask. Like, when we came down the steps and went back in the car, I didn't even ask, like, who dude on the couch was. I ain't ask. I ain't care. Right? So, we in the car. We chilling. His phone kept going off. First, it was ringing. It was rung, like, three times in the middle of us, like, talking. He'll just take the phone and kind of look at it. And then click the side. I'm like, okay, somebody blowing him up. It, somebody kept blowing him up. Like, once he turned it on silent, the vibration, he just, not silent, but it was on vibrate or whatever. And it was going off. Like, it kept going off, going off. He getting that, he getting upset now, like, irritated, like, you know, doing shit like that or whatever. So, I was like, you need to get that. So now here's the text messages. He texts. He like, no, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna answer or whatever. There ain't nobody. But when dude, when he responded like that, I was like, it's a bitch. It's a bitch. And I'm not with this dude, but I like them. You know, I like them. So in that very moment, I'm like, oh, he talking to somebody else. Like even I ain't either he talking to somebody else or he got a no, he got a woman and just like out here doing his woman dirty or something like. But it just, it automatically irritate me. How y'all feel about that? Do that happen to y'all? It's like, I can't be mad because we not together. But at the same time, we on a, like a date for real. And some woman blowing you up. That's irritating. I'm like, mm. I'm looking at my clock. My, my watch, I had a watch on that day. And I kept saying like, like at first it started off like I was joking. And then I got serious. But I kept saying like, oh, it's like, it's getting late. It wasn't even that late. It was like 10 o'clock. I was like, it's getting late. I think I should um go. And he like, no, nah, like, why you want to leave? Like, I'm enjoying my time with you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, I kept joking about it, but I did it. Because his phone kept going off. I said, do you need, you really need to get that or just, like, cut the phone off? Because it's really, it's irritating you and now it's irritating me. That's what I told him. Like, he laughing. I'm like, no, nah, I'm irritated for it. He like, why? I said, because it got to be some girl, like, me being blunt. I'm like, it got to be some female, like... Why you don't just answer it? I ain't going to say shit. Like, you need to answer it. Sound like it's an emergency. Like, I'm irritated as fuck. Like, it's an emergency. So, he like, man, I'll be right back. I'm like, where you going? He like, I'm going to go in the house to use the bathroom. I said, dang, you should have used the bathroom when I was up there. He was like, I ain't had to go then. Lying. Nigga was lying. Something ain't right. <laughs> I was like, something ain't right. My intuition was like, bitch, get out. Get out the car and get in your car. So that's what I did. Like, I took what I wanted to do. I took some more of his wine. Cause I was taking that shit on the road, bitch. And smack. We had, like, gummy candy and shit like that, whatever. I took it and sat in my car. Now, I ain't peel off. I ain't just up and leave. I wait. I was going to wait till he come out and just be like, yeah, I'm getting ready to go home. Like, this was cute. Like, this was cute. Give him a little, probably a little pack, little kiss or something. And peel out of there. So I stayed in the car and I'm on the phone. I remember texting somebody. You know what I'm saying? I Sometimes I just, I be getting into these moods, especially when you out on dates and stuff like that. It's like, you don't know these people, so you just never know. Like, so I'm texting people, letting niggas know that I'm, this is where I'm at. You feel me? You know, you always got to send a location to somebody. Let them know like, okay, this is where I'm at. I should have did that from the jump, but I didn't. But in this moment, I just felt like something's getting ready to go down just because this person is blowing up his phone. So, um... What happened? So I'm in the car waiting. He taking like, he was gone for like 10 minutes. It don't take that long to pee. Like when I went to go pee, it was literally less than five minutes. Like we walked around there, went up there. Like I, as far as me, like just peeing. Like I was in the bathroom for probably like three minutes tops. Like I pee, washed my hand, got the fuck out of there. It don't take 10 minutes. So, you know, I just realized it because I'm just like on my phone texting motherfuckers and shit. I'm like, damn, he been gone for a minute. So I call him. He didn't answer. So I called him again. He didn't answer. So I said, okay. So now I'm about to peel out. Because why are you not answering? And you in the house. Like, and you got me out here. Like, what the fuck is I'm really, like, rattled now. Because I'm just like, nah, this ain't sitting right with me. So I'm getting ready to peel out, which I did. But I had to back up. I backed up. And as I'm going forward, he, he come coming around the corner. But he not alone, bitch. Who you think he was with? <laughs> bitch, I... Who you think he was with? A woman. Yes, he was. And she followed behind him, just going off. Just saying all kind of shit. Just going off or whatever. They not even paying me no mind. They don't give a fuck. Until he 
He like, what you doing? What like, where you going? And I was like, um, what's going on? And he was like, nothing going on, nothing going on. She was like, I will run, honey. He ain't shit. Da da da. She yelling like, he ain't shit. Boy. I'm like, damn. I was like, damn. I ain't say nothing to her. I'm just like, okay, like. You know, just making a face. I ain't say anything. I'm just like, mm, in my head, like, okay. Like, why the fuck, in my head, like, why the fuck would he bring me here? I don't get dudes. Why would you bring me here if, like, if you have, like, it's your girl. Like, why would you bring me to the house where your baby mother lay her head? Like, I just feel like that's disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? We could have went anywhere else and sat up under the tree. Why did you come to your house for drama? Like, or to make somebody jealous. Like, y'all heard the story time before. This same situation happened before. Like, I'm like, he come over to me and he like, he say all this stuff to me or whatever. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead on. And I drove off. So he calls, he hits me up and was just like, like, like not even that night, like the next day or whatever. He called me. I answered because I did want an explanation. Like, like, why would you? Because I've been through this before. I even told him. And I said, another dude did some stupid ass shit like this before to me. Like, this is stupid. I don't get why guys do that. He like, I'm not with her, though. I'm not with her. She just, we just live together. He was like, and the other dude, that's uh, our roommate or whatever. So, we just live together. So, and I'm just like, okay, but still, why would you bring me around y'all? You know what I'm saying? That's disrespect. I get why she mad. And then at the same time, you she hitting you up. She basically was trying to figure out where he was going because she heard somebody come in the house. That was her in that room. So I was just like, damn, like, okay. Now in my head, I was just like, yeah, well, I don't want to deal with him. Like, it's just, it don't need to go no further than that because I just feel like, I don't know. It's the same thing. It's like dating somebody, dating some dude that don't take care of their kids for real. Like y'all in the same household, so I'm pretty sure y'all sleeping in the same bed, probably, or y'all still like, you know what I'm saying? There's still hope there because y'all live together. So I ain't, I ain't got time. So I decided to just let him know, like, I don't want to talk to him anymore. We do follow each other on social media, but that's it. Like we don't, we haven't spoken to each other at all. I knew right then and there after those red flags, I was like, nah, that don't even sound right. Like y'all probably is just roommate, but at the same time, like. You need to not date nobody then at this moment. Like, you need to figure your shit out first. You get what I'm saying? So, that's the end of the story time. If y'all enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button. I'll see y'all in my next one.